Junko to Bay, One Step at a Time. Written by Juliette Claire Bell, illustrated by Velt Yene. Junko was a small, weak child. She got sick easily. She struggled with sports at school. No one then could have guessed what dizzying heights she would reach as an adult. But a school camping trip to a mountain near Tokyo changed her forever. Junko gazed in awe at the stark rock, shaped over millions of years by weathering and erosion. It was so different from the grassy hill back home. She trekked, slowly, towards Mount Nasudake, through hot springs and with warm soil beneath her feet. Her skin tingled. As she reached the summit, nine-year-old Junko felt a new kind of joy. She had made it! She knew that, from this day on, as long as she took one step at a time, however slowly, she would eventually reach her destination. She would discover new and wonderful things. As an older child, and then young adult, Junko was often sad, but walking in the mountains helped her feel better, one step at a time. She looked for other women who shared her passion, and they became the Ladies' Climbing Club. They climbed the mighty Annapurna in the Himalayan mountain range, but Junko dreamed even higher. She dreamed of climbing Mount Everest, the tallest mountain in the world. The Ladies' Climbing Club agreed. It would be a huge challenge. No woman had ever reached the top, and many people thought they shouldn't even try. But after four years of researching, training, gathering, and searching for a sponsor who would believe in their expedition, and with lots of help to carry their equipment to the base of the mountain, they were finally ready for their dangerous but exciting ascent. Local Sherpas, used to working in the mountains, joined Junko and her team for the climb. Soon, gentler slopes gave way to steeper rock and slippery glaciers with deep valleys below. It was tiring work, but the climb was going well. Until... Boom! Then there was silence. Upside down, deep under the snow, Junko desperately tried to free herself but her arms were stuck and she slipped into unconsciousness. When Junko was dragged out, she was barely alive. The avalanche had destroyed the camp. Would it also destroy Junko's dream of reaching the peak? She could barely sit up, let alone walk. But Junko refused to give up. Day by day, she regained her strength until she was ready to climb again but they'd lost so much time and equipment that only Junko and lead Sherpa, Aang Sering, would be able to continue to the top. Gusts of wind blew as loud as underground trains, and the climb was exhausting. Step, stop, inhale, repeat, day after day. On the final day, Junko rose early. At such high altitude, everything was a struggle, even putting on her socks. But they were so close, she must keep going. Off they set, roped together, through knee-deep and then waist-deep snow. Step, stop, inhale, repeat. Junko dared to relax a little when they reached the south peak, until she saw the sheer drop and knife-point ridge they would have to pass. Heart hammering, Junko crawled sideways, knowing that with one wrong move, she would fall to her death. One step at a time, she told herself, however slowly. Until she reached the top of the world. And she didn't stop there. Junko Tobey eventually became the first woman to climb the highest mountain in each of the seven continents. And, as always, she did it one step at a time.